Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the modifications of root for some specialized functions. So not only food storage, respiration and uh, mechanical support, they also perform some very very special functions in some plants. For example, there are photosynthetic roots. Quite surprising, right? We always knew that uh, leaves are the photosynthetic organs which help in the process of photosynthesis. But now we get to know that even roots help in photosynthesis, but not in all plants. There are some plants where roots are specialized to perform photosynthesis. Let us look at an example. Trapa is an example of such plants. What happens here is, do you know what is trapa? Uh, if, if I say in Hindi, we generally call it as Pani Phal or Singhara in India. We use these names for Trapa. So in this kind of plant, it is an aquatic plant. So here we see that the roots develop chlorophyll and whenever chlorophyll is there, they are capable of performing photosynthesis. So here also the roots are above the ground. So here you can see this is how a Trapa looks like. These, they have these kind of leaves and the roots are also present on the surface of the water. So these, this, these are an example of photosynthetic roots. There are floating roots as well. In, in other aquatic plants, the roots help in floating. So they are modified into spongy structures so that they can help the plant to float. Now when the roots protrude out of water and help in keeping the plant buoyant. So there is always a buoyant force which actually, I mean, how does an object float? We all know about the Archimedes principle. You would have studied that in the physics videos. What happens is, whenever an object floats on water or whenever you put or immerse an object in water, there will be a buoyant force. There will be some weight of the object which will tend to push it downwards and there will be a force which is exerted by the water on the object which will be the upward direction called buoyant force. Right? Now when these two forces will be equal and they will balance each other only then the object will float. So these roots, floating roots, in some aquatic plants the roots actually help in keeping the plant buoyant. So that means it actually helps to maintain that equalization of the forces so that the plant can float. And that is why they are known as floating roots. An example would be many aquatic plants. In most of the aquatic plants, you can actually see that this is how the roots get modified. So it maintains buoyancy. Now let us look at the last modification that is the hostorial roots. Now the term hostorial, hostorial it is related to host. Something related to host. So you all know about host and parasite, right? So it is something related to that. So these are parasitic plants. So how are they parasitic plants? They penetrate into the host to derive nutrition. So these are specialized roots which penetrate into host. Host, what is host and what is parasite? The living organism inside who, within which another living organism lives and derives its nutrition is known as host. And the living organism which snatches out the nutrition is known as the parasite. For example, the worms inside our body. Like we often get stomach infection and things like that, right? So what, how, what happens in that? Any worm enters inside our body and snatches away nutrition from our body. So that worm is a parasite and our body is or we human beings are the host. So here there are specialized roots which enter inside another plant body and derive nutrition from that plant body. So such specialized roots are known as hostorial roots. So these roots penetrate into the host establish contact with the vascular tissue and derive nutrition from it. So one very good example of hostorial root is cuscuta, that is the dodder. So here you can see this green plant which you see is the host and here you can see some thread like yellow structures. So what are these? These are the 
hostorial roots of some other plants. So actually, it gradually covers this entire plant and it takes nutrition, keep on taking nutrition from this green plant and gradually it grows and it ultimately covers the entire green plant. You would have seen these kind of uh, uh, parasitic plants in bushy areas, right? I mean, where uh, there is uh, too many plants or inside the forest areas, you actually tend to see these kind of plants. So these are some of the specialized modifications of root where roots can perform photosynthesis, roots can help the plants to float, roots can also help in uh, deriving nutrition from a host. So with whatever we have studied so far about root, what all did we study? What is root? What are the different parts of a root? What are the different types of root? What are the different modifications of root? So based on that, what can we say about the importance of root system? So we can see that besides the so important primary functions, roots also help in performing so many special functions. Some of the primary functions are absorption of water and minerals from the soil, provide anchorage to the plant, store food. Now this food storage happens differently in different plants. In some plants, the tap roots become swollen to store food, while in other plants, the adventitious roots are swollen to store food. Perform photosynthesis in some plants like trapa, where the roots contain chlorophyll. Helps in respiration in plants like mangroves, where uh, the roots have specialized structures called pneumatophores with lenticels, which help in exchange of gases and therefore help in respiration. Help plants in climbing, for example, the climbers, Provide additional support to trees like the banyan tree, the crop roots. Helps in deriving nutrition from host in parasitic plants, the hostorial roots which we talked about just now. So these are some of the important functions which roots perform and that is why roots have a significant role to play in the life of a plant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.